right. It's turkey time. Thanksgiving. I'm wearing the turkey hat. This is a traditional. This is the Tim Star to Pick'em League tradition here. The turkey hat. All right. My oldest brother got this for me. It's been a few. It's been over a decade ago. I don't know. But I wear this. That's right. I wear this guy come Thanksgiving time just to embarrass myself and for the betterment of the world. So Thanksgiving hat is right here. Happy Thanksgiving. Want to say hello to everyone in the Tim Starter Pick'em League. Um, talk about your bountiful harvest. We've got uh, Diddy Kong at 111 up top. Brother Mayor Wes and Big Cop Al. 109, y'all doing great. Bill Swarovski super fans. And C at 108. We got the Survivor and Coastal Cowboys at 107. His and Herbs and Nitro 244 along with Joey B. And that is 106. And I know it's his and Herbs. I know H E R B S is Herbs, but she's a Herbert fan. So that's why I know it's his and herbs. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, going back. Uh, DCFL, Trace Mini Coops, and Rock. Got 105, Redskin Man, and Long Gap, along with Fumbling Favorites at 104. Button Pile Shiz at 102. Lucky You at 101. Oh, my. My boy. Yeah, my boy, Blue Demon Jr., where's he at? He's been hiding out this week. Yeah, he's been hiding out. My boy, Blue Demon Jr., I tell you, this guy talks so much trash. So much trash. This guy talks so much trash. But he's at 100. The Commission, 99, right behind me. Oh, he lets me know. Uh, Round Man, 96. Dilly Dally Pick, I'm at 95. Cyber Scorpion at 94, Macho Man Fan from New England at 92, Number One Fan at 88, and White Skeleton at 85. Want to send a shout out though to Number One Fan. She got a standalone last week. She picked the Giants to beat Washington last week, which that to me was unheard of. Tommy DeVito, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure game was in Washington. Oh my, train wreck, yeah. Hey, Carissa. Carissa's in the house. Hello, Carissa. Happy Thanksgiving. So, uh, but yeah, she got a standalone last week, so kudos to her. Um, got the big three Thanksgiving games. Go pick those. The big three. Um, they all look kind of lopsided. Detroit and Green Bay. Uh, take Detroit, Dallas, and Washington. Take Dallas and uh, San Francisco and Seattle. Um, it's in Seattle, but they're hurting. And San Francisco, uh, they may be back what they used to be there. They took like three weeks off and lost three in a row. And they're looking pretty strong again. So, you know, like I said, tomorrow. Um, but you never know about Thanksgiving. Could be some surprises. That's right. Could be some people putting oyster in their stuffing. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Um, people, people, you know, they do some weird stuff on Thanksgiving. Um, I don't understand people putting ketchup on their turkey. I don't get that. I don't get it. Um, you see some weird stuff. You see people, they don't eat bread at all. There's no biscuit, there's no toast, there's no rolls. You're breaking my heart. Okay? One of the worst things, and this is just me, is the is the mock, the fake mashed potatoes. All right? You pull out that powdered mashed potato stuff on me, oh, you will have trouble. You about to have a talking to, okay? Because this boy knows, and I know they do that in restaurants. They'll say they've got real mashed potatoes, but what they do is they thin it out with the with the with that flaky stuff. 
so they can technically say they got real mashed potatoes, I can tell the difference. That's right. Yeah, I want 100% tater. All right, coming out of the ground tater, not in a box tater. If you like the box taters, forgive me. All right. Okay, now let's see what else is going on. Go hand out some turkey awards. The turkey awards are going to the teams that are suffering. All right. That would be your New York Giants, your Chicago Bears, your Arizona Cardinals, and your Carolina Panthers in the NFC. You guys are official turkeys. All right. In the AFC, okay, you have just two teams the Tennessee Titans, and the New England Patriots. You guys are turkeys, all right? Y'all are on the bottom end of the scale. Y'all have a turkey seasons. So y'all are the gobblers of the league. That would be the turkeys, definitely, definitely. And just so you know that if, let's see if I have that information. I'm not sure if I've got that sweet information or not. I don't have that sweet information. But I can tell you right now that there's a lot of hype about New England playing the uh, Giants this week. So they're talking about that could possibly be for the number one pick overall. Man, if that's what you're playing for in life, that'll tell you what your season's like. i just let you know. Yeah, that's a hardship right there. That is definitely a hardship. But got some good games this week. Let's see. We got uh, um, Philadelphia Buffalo. I call that a good game. I'm waiting for Buffalo to try to bounce back, turn around. Will Philadelphia have the hangover after beating Kansas City in Kansas City on a Monday night? We will see. We will see. Houston and Jacksonville, that could be for the AFC South title. Is Houston going to make a run, or is Jacksonville going to keep at it? We will see. Uh, Pittsburgh's playing Cincinnati. That's big in the, AFC, in the AFC North. I think Cincinnati is in bad shape with Burrow being out. I think they're going to fade. I hate to say that, but I know i got a Joey B out there who, who thinks the world of Mr. Burrow. Um, I, I foresee it, the, the, the demise of the Cincinnati Bengals and the NFC South. Everybody's favorite punching bag. All right. You've got the five and five New Orleans Saints taking on the four and six Atlanta Falcons. Somebody got to win that division. That might be for the whole ball of wax this weekend. Somebody tell you, if New Orleans wins that game and they get two up on Atlanta and Tampa Bay is very inconsistent and then you got Carolina. Don't get me started on them. Um, I say New Orleans wins this weekend, they win the division. I will, boom. Commish says that. Yeah, they should, yeah, you're right, Chris. They should just eliminate the whole dang division. But I remember there's been times when teams squeaked in with a bad record and, and they pull out that, that playoff win, having that home game and all hyped up and all that. So you never know. But, yeah, I, th that whole division kind of stinks. Um, let's just add it up while we're here. You've got 5, 4, 4, and 1. So my math tells me that's 14. They got 14 wins. You got a 5, 6, 6, 9. Let's see. That's 11, 20, 26. So right now, their record is 14 and 26. That's blind date with your ugly cousin, sad, okay? Now I can't tell you how I know about that, but it, it, that's kind of a sad thing, okay? Somebody said you're up on a blind date and not only, not only is that person ugly, but they relate it to you. Oh, that's double whammy. Oh, that's bad news. Just get, just don't, just, just go home. Go home. Just call it night. Just, just, just go home. Okay. Now I'm happily married. Been happily married since 2001. So, and if I ever doubt if I'm happily married, all I got to do is ask my wife, Sarah. She's like, yeah, you're happy. I'm like, you're right. You're absolutely right. I am happy. So, she'll remind me. She's a good wife. 
But anyway, I am very happy with Barry. And anybody who knows me knows that. So, but I'm wearing a turkey tonight. So maybe I'm going to talk like a turkey a little bit. But this turkey right here, I covered my eyes. This turkey means a lot to me. My oldest brother bought this for me so many years ago. So it does mean a lot to me. So I do wear it on Thanksgiving. So there you go. But, well, I tell you what, the commission going to hang it up. Listen, I hope tomorrow you get your pumpkin pie. Oh, my pumpkin pie. You get your turkey. You get your real potatoes. Some green bean casserole. That's pretty good. Uh, my wife makes this Watergate salad stuff that I particularly like. And I, I tell you, she does this thing with the cranberry. Oh, baby, 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 baby. And see, some people, I, I'll leave you on this. Some people, they like that jelly type cranberry sauce that's out of the can. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You have defiled the palate of the commish. Okay. What you do, all right, go get you. You can get them frozen. You can get like the frozen cranberries. And she'll, she'll put that thing in a blender and she'll, she'll zest an orange and then put in some sugar. Hum now. Now you got some cranberry. Hum now. So, so hope y'all get some hum nows tomorrow. And uh, most importantly, I hope you get to be a friends and family. I really do. And it's a cherished time of year. And um, remember those that might have lost someone during the year. Remember someone that uh, may be going through a tough time. Keep them in your thoughts and wishes. and and uh, But anyway, this is your friendly commish. And uh, I want to thank the Martinez for being out tonight. Hey, y'all are wonderful folks. Appreciate you guys. And uh, again, if you need anything from the friendly commish, just holler out, reach out, PM me. And uh, God bless y'all. And again, happy Thanksgiving.